Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another video where I take an application built with code and try to rebuild it using no code. So in this example, I'm going to show how I built a Twitter bot um, in about 10 minutes that shares inspirational quotes. Now, I uh, so this is it's based on this blog post which I'll share in the video. Um, again, I tweeted this uh, back in January. Well, I want to try Again, taking a, an application built with code and rebuild it with no-code tools. I also already shared two tutorials that um, links are here. And so this example that I found is right here. How I built a serverless AWS Lambda Twitter bot in Node.js in a single day. Now, I have the link opened here um, in the private window. I just uh, ran out of free articles with Medium. But again, you'll be able to visit... Um, I'll post the link uh, in the video, but um, this again loses Amazon Lambda and Node, and of course, you know this, you know, using code allows you sort of more flexibility, more customization options. But again, I wanted to see if I can rebuild the same application pretty much using no code tools. So let's go back, um, and so first here, the tools that I use is Zapier, uh, that's for, for integration and, and the logic. And then they said so quotes API, right? That's where I get the inspirational quotes. And I was able to build this bot probably under 10 minutes. Okay, so let me show you how I built it or how it looks. All right, so let's go to Zapier. And this is my this is my zap. All right, let's open it. And it has three steps. Uh, so step number one, and we can also open the outline here. Uh, but basically it uh, when to run the zap. Now, when it runs, get the quote, get the quote, the inspirational quote from an external API and then create a tweet, right? And same steps are here. So let's look at the first one. So when this happens is I'm using a built-in, it's called Schedule by Zapier, and I'm saying I want to run this every day. Now I can also customize this a little bit more. Do you want to run on weekends? Yes. And time of the day, 10 in the morning. All right, and this is just a test, but we can skip it. All right, so this runs every day at 10 in the morning Pacific time. Next one is um, we're using webhooks by Zapier, which allows to invoke an external API and doing a GET request. And now this is the API. So this is the endpoint and language. There are just two parameters and category inspire, right? Um, again, uh, there is an option to do a test. Uh, this is just test data from a previous run. All right, and then the last one, once we have the data, uh, and of course, uh, just quickly going back, we're going to be using um, the quote itself, which you see right here, and also a background image and a link. Uh, this is the link uh, right here. All right, so let's go to the last step, which is create a tweet. And again, you can, this is uh, uh, part of Zapier, so you can connect to a Twitter out of the box. Um, and so the app is Twitter and the, act the action is create a tweet. And then I'm connected to an account. And then this is where I create a tweet. So uh, I'm getting the content itself and then the actual link. And then I'm also getting an image. That's for the uh, picture. And then I'm also shortening the URL. Okay, and we can also now run a test. So let's give this a try and uh, let's see, test. Okay, so uh, Twitter doesn't like it that I uh, send the same tweet. Um, so maybe what we can do is we can change the tweet a little bit. So let's um, go here and maybe add uh, at the beginning. Let's add something so it's a little bit different. So um quote all right and let's um, continue and let's do test and review all right and now a tweet was sent and let's go here so this was sent uh about three hours ago again 10 a.m pacific time let's click here again or maybe on home and here we go you can see the quote. This is the again the text that I uh, needed to add so that the 
quotes are not the same. I'm sorry, the tweet is not the same. Um, and so yeah, uh, that's all you have to do. And going back, uh, let's let me actually take this out quickly. Customize tweet. Take it back because, and then continue. And then when you make any changes, we want to, uh, let's skip the test here. And the last thing I want to do is I'm going to turn it back. When you make changes, uh, Zapier turns off any zaps uh, and done editing. And, uh, but that's it. Uh, again, literally, you know, it takes about 10 minutes, uh, if not less, uh, to build this bot. And again, and we can see the tweet is right here. Um, so again, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. Uh, again, it's based on this blog post, which let me just quickly scroll back, but you'll see very similar steps. Um, I will add a link to this uh, in the video. And um, yeah, if you, if there are any other apps built with code that uh, you think would be interesting to rebuild with no code, uh, please let me know and I will uh, give it a try. Thanks for watching.